before a major transition for children, Kelly Clarkson ushers in a new era and ends her residency in Las Vegas. Kelly Clarkson has experienced a summer full of transitions and new eras, in part because she finally released Chemistry, her first album in six years, and celebrated it with a cozy residency in Las Vegas. Chemistry was the result of her divorce, though she just moved closer to it ultimately happening. The largest transformation and new era of all hasn't even occurred yet. The Red Flag Collector singer wrapped up her brief but productive residency at the Bax Theater on Tuesday night, and she's now prepared for a completely new chapter. During the residency, she disparaged her ex Brandon Blackstock and ended things with a surprise performance with her children. With her residency over with, Kelly's life on the West Coast is also already in the rearview mirror, and as the end of her summer approaches, so does her big move to New York City. The star announced back in May that she would be uprooting both her family and her professional life to the East Coast, and her eponymous talk show's upcoming fifth season will officially debut from NBC's Rockefeller Plaza Studios in Midtown Manhattan. Despite what will surely be a difficult goodbye to the West Coast, where Kelly has spent decades living since her first ascent to fame in the early 2000 seconds, it's all coming up roses for the talk show host. And not only will her new New York era bring her a brand new studio for her show, but it has also already been renewed for a fifth season, taking it through 2024 and 2025. Kelly previously opened up about the decision to move in from Los Angeles to NYC in a conversation with Talk Shop Live, during which she explained it was an effort to be closer to family. It wasn't an easy decision to make, and she admitted, I haven't actually been able to talk about this a lot. I talked to my crew back in January through tears because I have built such an amazing group of people. Obviously, we've had a lot of success, and I love everyone I work with. We have such wonderful relationships, she continued. She went on to say that although it was a difficult option, she didn't have much of a choice. I was like, guys, I need you to know what's happening. I have to go to the East Coast or I won't be able to continue the program, I said, adding that my family lives there. They are based in North Carolina. I had to do it because it was one of those things. She did say that leaving California was motivated by hurdle after hurdle with things, and that eventually, her family was looking for a much-needed reset. She said, there were a lot of personal things going on, too, saying, I feel like our family, me and my kids, really needed a fresh start and I just could not get it here. She concluded by thanking NBC for their patience during the relocation process, saying, NBC supporting me was really cool because I was, like, y'all I love doing this show, I really do, I didn't even know I would but I got to make a change for me and my family so any chance we can maybe do this. Any possibility we could complete this task in New York, which is at least closer to my ranch but we can't accomplish it there.